Hello viewers, this is Cynthia Michael from Screen Reviews, bringing you a new podcast from my segment called The Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to beat your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Now, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get to the latest episode of uh, 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 Kid Major. <laughs> so basically, the episode starts, uh, starts off back at back at the uh, back, uh, uh, back at uh, no at, uh, at headquarters. So basically, Princess Ma- Marvel Center, which brought him to to the command center, um, to the command uh, to the command center room, where 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 it seems like it seems like there's some type of weird emergency about uh, to uh, she's walking towards the command center room uh, in a hurry, it's a, in a hurry because of some weird situation that's going on in the command center room. Turns out. Turns out, uh, turns out that that the situation is that that Tomatello and and Seda and Seda and Seda was arguing over 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 what they call the Yodahai lieutenant who, who who had to wear head. So basically, you know. I mean, like say they want to call these Yoda High No Kinnets with the weird heads well mock man. So basically like, you know, Tom and Tara thought they were for calling the mock man was just stupid. So basically it was just a stupid situation. So basically that thing purchased my center stuff to last and make this weird this weird uh, this weird uh, this weird whistling Cackle sound. So basically, like you know, the others is like you know, <gasps> like you know, the like uh, did that sound came to you? My was telling you said yes. <laughs> so, so basically. Mm. Uh, so basically, when we, this is shit, my people, when we laugh, you know, we make this weird whistling cackling, you know, like this weird whistling cackling, you know, cackle sound when, when we laugh. So basically, Joe and the others was like, you know, like, you know, what's kind of made, um, what's kind of made of my sending and sharing that intonation with them. So anyway, the alarm went off, the alarm went off in, in the command center. The room, it turns out a giant, a giant black QMA stone appeared in appeared, appeared out of a portal in, in the and floating above the city. So basically, you know, Princess Marvel Center and the other QMA stone did not recognize the, did not recognize the, this Q, this this QMA stone at all. So basically, they did not know. Yeah. They did not know where this did, where the two black Kim and Stone came from. So basically, but she said, but Mama Tina said, but you know, I just have a strange feeling it might be, it, it, it might be connected to, um, I had a strange feeling this crystal might be connected to my uncle, or uh, like, you know, she was fixing herself that I, uh, you know, this crystal, this, uh, this Kim and Stone might be somehow connected to my uncle. Gazo, Gazo, not Gazo. So basically, it turns out that you know I was say I was mispronouncing you know my was saying this uncle name is actually Gazo, not Gazo. So anyway, so anyway, so basically that the so basically the came the came just morphed up and you know and there was about to there was about to use the came there was about to go and the came use the came stones in his in his own mode to to. To see, uh, you know, to see uh, what this crazy, this new Kimmy Stone is gonna fall. So basically, Marvel, Princess Marvel said, uh, "Ask, ask you that, that can I, can I come with you and your, and your, and your, you come with you." So basically, Joey was like, "Oh, I did." So basically, Marvel said, uh, 
I mean, so basically, you know, so basically, so basically, Marvel sends the Jai Jarrow and his Zerg cockpit, and the Kim Ray Zerg transform into the Zerg forms, and went to go meet this new black Kim Ray Zerg that was floating above the, above the city. So anyway, it seems like, so basically, when when they got to uh, got to the middle of the sea, the the Kim Ray the, the the black Kim Ray Zerg starts to transform into this weird dinosaur train. So basically, Basically, it transformed into a train that with a dinosaur head, so like a, so into a into this weird dinosaur steam 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 train. So anyway, so basically the others were worried that if this train could might do some damage. So basically the others, so basically the Kimmerstones and the Zerg nodes were, were trying to stop the train from you know to, to, to do any damage. But you know it's kind of difficult. It's Difficult, but they managed to stop the train from uh, from moving and out out of the train. We see we see Gazo you know jumped out of the out of the train and turned up that mom that Mama Cinder said that he recognized she recognized the train. It's a it's a special it's a special train used by her royal family. So basically, Gazo. So basically, when they stopped the train, Gajo hopped out of the, you know, hopped out of the the dinosaur train, and you know, and the and the others met Gajo on the you know, on, on the ground, and that's when Joe would say that you know I know you know we say I know who this guy is. So basically, I, I mean, so basically Joe would recognize Gajo from his dream, from his dream that he had about him attacking Marvel's and his father and whatnot. So basically. And from his texture. So basically, so God, uh, God, uh, so basically, my was like, you know, you shouldn't come here, Uncle, you traitor, you, you traitor. And, and, uh, and God, 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 God said that, you know, I didn't betray you, I didn't betray you, I didn't betray you, no, I was forced to, I was brainwashed. So basically, it turns out that according to God, uh, uh, God, God that, you know, I was brainwashed. By, by the yellow high in I was in I was by by the by the by the emperor of the Yellow High Empire. So basically, so basically, it seems like it seems like signs to it seems like signs point that Gaza was brainwashed by by uh, by the Yellow High by the emperor of the Yellow High Empire to betray his father and take over take over the the Crystalla take over the take over his home planet and and forced to betray. His father. So basically, so basically, Marvel Sinner, Marvel started to believe him, and Gaza, uh, and Gaza said that you know that you know your brother, um, your, um, uh, you know, like your father is still alive. So basically, Marvel, after you know, after Gaza explained the whole situation that you know I was brainwashed by by the Emperor of the Yellow High Empire. You know, you know, your father's not dead; he's alive. But I need to break this brainwash control. Uh, that way, uh, that way I can uh, that way I can save your father once I break my uh, brainwash control. So basically, so basically, Marvel Center start to believe, uh, start to believe him, and that's when he's that's when he's brainwashing. Last when he's brainwashing, uh, start to it took control of him, and and and, and he just start to flip out, and and he whispered something to Princess Marvel and he disappeared, and he hopped, he disappeared back into the train, and the train disappeared through a portal. And into uh, into a portal and and disappear. So basically, about what, what not. So anyway, back at the headquarters, back at back at headquarters, you know, Marvel Center, President Marvel Center was like, you know, I, I believe my uncle was telling the truth, that, you know, but the other. But the other, but the other kid, but the kid, the kid made this, this, this might be some type of setup. 
<laughs> set up. So basically, until we hear that he's on the level, we, you know, I think it's best for you, Mama Sinner, to stay here, stay here until we can be sure that Gaijo, this is not, this is not some type of trap that Gaijo is trying to, you know, trying to get you or not. So basically, Mama Sinner was kind of pissed off, but you know, there's not much she can do about that. So anyway, later that night, later that night, Princess Mama Sino was sneaking around, was sneaking around the headquarters, and she found the stone that she used to come to Earth from her planet, and you know, and took it from, uh, took it from last. So basically, she had. Um, and Princess Marvelson had this special white stone that she used, that she used to come to Earth, and she thought, and she, 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 she was taking it from, from the lab, and that's the top tail, because, you know, so, so that's what, that's what God wanted, with it, so, that, so basically, that's what God will tell you to bring him that white stone. So basically, Marvelson is saying that, you know, Tom said that you know I heard I heard that I heard that word I heard him say something to you, but I couldn't understand it. So basically, I figured that the he what he said he it got to do with that special stone that you that you bought to go and meet and give him. So basically, what not? So basically, Jagu showed up in the lab. So basically. So basically, like, you know, so basically, Joe said, like, you know, we don't know, if you hand over that stone, it, 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 it turns out this is, it's one big trick, he can use that stone, he can use that stone to do some bad things with it. So basically, so basically, my was sitting there, was like, you know what, I believe, I believe my uncle is telling the truth. So basically, so basically, so basically, my was sitting there, used her crystal powers to, to take the, to cause a big flash and it, and managed to get away from Jeru and Tamato and she went to go meet her uncle. Meanwhile back at the meanwhile back at the Yoroha Empire Empire headquarters, we see Carissa talking to the Emperor named Yodovin so basically the the Emperor of the Yoroha Empire. So basically he was this big giant dude, so so basically Carissa said that you know you know, you know, it's a, it's it's God uh, it's God's it's God's plan. Go, it, it's a to We will um, we will have we will have a power source that uh, that allow our forces to open up portals. We can open up portals. We can use this power. It's got to be a to of getting this power source. We can open up portals for Earth and send up all our forces to 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 obey Earth. Earth. So so basically, that's what that's what the stone. That's why that's why I didn't need the stone. So basically, guys, the point is to get the stone that puts it, that my that pictures my machine used to come to Earth and use it as a power source the, to for for the Euro Empire to open up portals that they. I mean, that way, you know, that way the Yodo Hot Empire can take over Earth very easily, easily whatnot. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, after the other two, after the other two was that, you know, after the others, after the others told my you the whole situation, uh, the whole situation, you know, he said, uh, you know, my you explained that 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 the crystals that he used to uh, used to come to Earth is very powerful. So basically, if the Yellow Heart Empire was able to use that power, it, it could be very dangerous for for uh, for for us. So anyway, the alarms are off. It turns out there was a number of mock beast monster attacking the city. So basically, you know, so basically all five teenagers went to go went to go deal with, go go deal with the mock beast monster and form the Kim Major Megazord, you know, and to deal with the monster. So anyway so anyway so basically, you know so basically, Princess Marvison met her uncle Gazu, uh, Gazu at the at the class site where Marvison came to Earth at. So basically, you know. Mm -hmm. 
And so basically, you know, Princess Mom sent over his thoughts to hand over the crystal, and that's where that's where Jewel showed up. So basically, Jewel Jewel showed up just in the uh, just in the nick of time before Princess Mom sent to hand over the crystal. So basically, Jewel has used that used that special that special doll to be a substitute for for, for himself to pilot the niggas over with the other kill majors. So basically, he used to special kill a doll to uh, uh, to help to help the other part of the niggas are in the cockpit, you know, while he was doing it doing with you know, with what Marvel Center and, and, and her evil uncle. So basically like, you know yeah, so basically, I remember what you said. Remember that you said that your peep when you when peep when your people laugh, you know, you make that funny funny whistling whistling cackling sound. Yeah, and my was said, uh, my was like, yes. So basically, I I had it. I had a memory of of your uh, of your uncle Gaja attacking your father. I heard him laugh. I heard him laugh while he was attacking the, attacking your father. So basically. He's been lying to you this whole time, and God uh, and God was like, you know, how, how like you know, how, like so, so, so you, so, so, so you figured it out. So basically, that turns out that God was lying to Princess Marvel Center this whole time, and he transformed into his monster, into his, you know, into his evil Yellowheim general form. So basically, like you know, so yeah, so basically, like so God. Say, you must be the you must be the one who who, who turned the Kimei still into vehicles. Gave the Kimei still the, the five Kimei still into vehicle form. So basically, and you and also you and also somehow you must have somehow you must have. You know, you must uh, must uh, have the special uh, special power special power that uh, 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 that uh, that my brother has. So basically, you know, uh, so basically, that like, turns out that you know maybe that Jimmy must be had the special power that you know that uh, that uh, that my descendant uh, father has to be able for him to turn the Kimmy Stone into you know giving the Kimmy Stone vehicle forms and whatnot, all that other shit. So anyway, he. So anyway, you know, Gajo, so basically Gajo and Jero uh, start to fight, but, you know, but Gajo was too soft to Jero to, to be on his own, but the other showed up in the Kill Major Megazord after, after temporary, you know, after temporary taking down the, the Mock Beast Monster, and, and Gajo was like, you know, this is no fair, so basically like, you know, I'm, it's time to need to take it to the next level, so basically, he suddenly he summoned the, he summoned his he summoned his evil matching dinosaur train zord and transport it and transport it from train mode into dinosaur mode. So basically, guys personal 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 zord went to train mode and transform into dinosaur mode and started to fight the kill amazing megazord. So basically, I gotta say that shit that shit was crazy. Guys uh, Dinosaur Zord's dinosaur mode was awesome. It had a chainsaw as a tail. So anyway, you know, the fight was the fight was not going very well. Uh, so basically, the fight was not going very well for for the Kid Major Megazord until until the Mark Beast got in got into the fight and interfered with the uh, interfered with the fight between the Geyser's uh, dinosaur with, with, with Geyser's dinosaur train zord versus the Kid Major Megazord. So basically, Geyser Geyser used his dinosaur his, his uh, dinosaur dinosaur mode to destroy the Mark Beast Mark Beast monster and decide to say that you know. So, um, we'll pick this up another time, and, and he just disappeared through a portal, portal and left Earth. So anyway, back at here, back at the back at back at uh, back at K headquarters, you know, put this Marvel Center. 
Pacific Mountain of West West of the others that is that he decided for actions and whatnot. I really wanted to believe that you know, that my uh, that my uncle Gazo was uh, Gazo Gazo was up uh, was brainwashed by the Johan Emperor, but you know, turned out it was a lie. So basically, so basically, I'm gonna keep on fighting, 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 fighting and make sure I'm gonna keep on helping you guys to take down the Johan Emperor. Empire and my uncle was in fall. So basically, the kid, the other teammates, it's and my was like, you know, don't worry, don't worry. If your father is still alive, we'll 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 save him as well. So anyway, so the episode ended with all the where all the teammates, my and Princess Mao and like you know, pressing me, pressing to the train that you no, know, they're gonna take down, uh, take down, take down guys of the real hot empire and. and and say and and say hey, Ma, and say Marvel Center is follow once and for all, and this is how the episode ended. So anyway, so anyway, this was a good episode. Uh, this was a good fourth episode of uh, of, of Kill Major. So basically, this is a pretty good episode, uh, fourth episode of Kill Major. So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it just okay? Please let me know in the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, it's Cynthia Michael from Screen View. Sign off. One.